Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do another cooking video. It's been a couple of weeks since I shared my last recipe and since then I've had so many messages saying that you've been trying it out and you've really enjoyed that dinner idea. So I thought I would share another one of our regular dinners. This is another really easy one. It takes maybe 20, 25 minutes from start to finish and it's really, really good. So for this recipe, you're gonna need chicken breasts, some red onions, some green chilies, chorizo, single cream, some Cajun spice and also some garlic. So the first thing you want to do is chop up an onion. This recipe that I'm making is just for me and Andy, so this is for two people. Um, obviously if you're doing it for more than that then you can adjust the ingredients accordingly but I just use one red onion between the both of us and I'm just slicing it as thinly as possible. The next up is the chorizo which is like my favourite ingredient ever. I just absolutely love the flavour. For two people, I'm just going to use half a chorizo, so I'm just going to chop it in half and then peel the paper casing off. This is quite a big debate, I feel like not everyone peels the casing off. I do it sometimes and sometimes I don't, depending on what brand I'm using. The Aldi one, you don't need to take the paper casing off, but some places, like this one I think was Sainsbury's and it comes off really, really easy. Um, and yeah, then you get a better flavour from it I think but let me know in the comments if you always pull your chorizo before you cook it Next I'm just topping up these chilies normally I like to use the thin green chilies but they only had the thick ones um, at the supermarket so I'm just using a tiny little bit of this these ones aren't that hot and to be honest I don't really like it too spicy anyway and then you want to just heat up some olive oil in a frying pan and put your chicken on there. This is two chicken breasts that I've just chopped up into small little bits. I really don't like cooking with chicken and touching chicken and stuff so I haven't filmed this um, and I've just put it straight onto the frying pan and then washed my hands about 400 times afterwards. I am just so funny with chicken, it's the weirdest thing. Um, but I am just cooking the chicken in some Cajun spice. Now I love the taste of Cajun so I've put loads and loads on. Then you want to empty the chorizo in there. It's quite important to have the chicken and the chorizo cooking at the same time on quite a low temperature so that the um, chorizo oil comes off and it goes over the chicken and that creates like a really nice flavour that then goes into the sauce later on. So um, what I've done is I've taken this down to like medium heat and just let it cook really slowly. And at this point I realised I hadn't put any garlic and I didn't have any lazy garlic in the fridge so I've just chopped up like half a garlic clove and threw that in the pan as well. And at this point I realised I hadn't actually put any pasta in that boiling water so this could have been a massive fail. <laughs> so I'm just adding this in now, just watch me put in far too much pasta for two people. And now that the chicken's been cooking for two or three minutes, I'm just going to put the onions in. I don't like to put them in too early just because I really don't want them to brown. Um, you want to keep them also at a low heat so they go nice and caramelly. So as this is cooking really slowly, there is like a nice Cajun spicy chorizo oil in the pan and that is what really makes the sauce for the pasta. So what you want to do is just add in the single cream, turn the heat right down and just let it reduce. This takes like about three or four minutes. You want it to be a really nice, smooth, thick kind of texture so that it will cling to your pasta. I've definitely made the mistake before of serving it too early and it's just a bit watery. What you'll notice with the cream is that the oil and the chorizo spice kind of rises to the top but as it starts to thicken, it all merges into one and it becomes a really nice sauce. And now it's time to drain the pasta into the world's smallest sieve from the most annoying pot that completely heats up and burns my hands every time I use it. I don't know why I keep using it. And that's the sauce already. It's a really nice creamy chorizo cajun -y. There's so many nice flavours in this. And as I said, you can have it as spicy as you like. So if you have younger members of the family that maybe aren't into spicy things, then you can just take out the chilies. Um, I haven't tried Oliver with this. Just because it's got chorizo in it, it can be a bit salty. But um, for me and Andy, this is definitely a favourite for us. Usually I will actually put the pasta straight into the pan and mix it all up. But just so I can show you the sauce properly, I have made it a bit more presentable tonight. That was another meal idea. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this one or if you're going to give it a try. Do let me know and let me know how it turned out. 
Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.